Hello, I'm Martin Looker from Silicon Labs. Welcome to this first video in a series on Simplicity Studio, where I'll walk you through getting started with the Simplicity Studio IDE. In this first video, I'll cover installation, including the installation of SDKs. Simplicity Studio is the unified development environment for all of Silicon Labs technologies. Simplicity Studio offers much more than a development environment. Documentation for hardware and networking stacks is easily accessible for connected devices. A wide range of example projects can be created with just a few clicks. Plus, the built-in tools provide GUIs to configure your devices and fine-tune both power and network operations. Simplicity Studio is available to download for Windows, Mac and Linux from the Silicon Labs website. You can find the link in the video description. In this video, I'll be installing on Windows, but the process on other platforms is similar. I'll begin by downloading the Windows installer. While you are downloading, you can find further information about the features in Simplicity Studio on this web page. On Windows, the installer is provided as an ISO image. Double click the ISO file to access the contents and then run the setup.exe file to begin installation. Security and license prompts will appear during the installation, which will need to be accepted. Then it's just a matter of clicking through the Windows installer in the normal way. When the installer completes, the Simplicity Studio IDE will open and prompt you to accept the Eclipse software agreement. Next, you will be prompted to log in or create a Scilabs.com account. When complete, the Installation Manager window will open. The Installation Manager is where you install additional SDKs for devices and networking stacks to support your development. If you already have Silicon Labs hardware, you can connect it via USB and follow the Install by Connecting Device path. This is the simplest method as the files that support the connected device will be installed. Alternatively, you can install by technology type. This is useful if you want to take a quick look around Simplicity Studio before receiving hardware, or if you are joining one of our in-person training events. This is the path I will follow in this video. You'll be prompted to select which technology types you want to install support for. In this video, I will install for 32-bit and wireless MCUs. It will also automatically check some optional extensions. The Wise Connect is for our Wi-Fi products. Matter is if you want to do Matter development. And you also have the option of installing the Amazon Sidewalk SDK. For this video, I'm just going to add the Matter extension and I'll untick the others. The installation manager is always available within Simplicity Studio if you want to expand your selection later. On the package installation options, the auto option is the easiest way to ensure everything you need is installed. The final step in the installation manager is to accept any licenses associated with the package you're about to install. The required files will then be installed and you may be presented with further security prompts depending on the packages being installed. When the installation is complete, you'll be prompted to restart Simplicity Studio. Simplicity Studio will prompt you if updates are available for either Simplicity Studio itself or its supporting SDK packages. A pop-up will appear and the install icon on the toolbar will turn red. Clicking the install button will return you to the installation manager with a new option, Manage Install Packages. From this window, you can review and install any offered updates. And you can also install additional components if you skip them during installation. Now that you have Simplicity Studio installed, the next video in this series will walk you through Simplicity Studio's launcher. This is where you'll begin your development of applications.